So one of the final things we're going to do in completing this Excel application is we're going to introduce creating a macro. Now a macro is not terribly difficult, but if we try and go about doing it right now, I can click through all of these things and I'm not going to find a macro. I'm not going to find a button that even looks like a macro, sounds like a macro, has macro in it. What I actually have to do is I have to enable it. It's currently disabled. It's disabled because, well, layman user doesn't really necessarily need it. But I need to come to my file tab. And inside here, I want to jump to my options. Now inside here, just generally speaking, this is actually a way for me to customize my Excel. Say for example, you guys notice I have a little circuit board up at the very top here. I can actually change that to say calligraphy. Oh, pretty, look at that. But the big focus is, let me jump back to my circuits. The big focus is I want to come to my customize ribbon section. Now, inside here, if we take a look over here on the right section, you notice that developer is unchecked. So what happens is if I kind of expand on that, you see, oh, code, XML, modify, modify. <laughs> uh, but if I un or I recheck it, now what I'm saying is it is going to be active. As soon as I hit OK, you notice up on my ribbon, suddenly I have this developer section. Inside that developer section, suddenly you see I have all these different abilities that were not there before. For example, working with macros.